what up guys back with another video now i know you guys enjoyed my last video where i gave you a step-by-step -step guide so i'm going to go ahead and give you guys an updated video on how to scrape leads for your business we will be using brand new softwares to go ahead and scrape what we need to scrape so let's go ahead and get into it i hope you're excited about this because i'm giving you guys a lot of free value so go ahead and leave a like and comment on that video make sure you do go check out our community we got a lot of active members in there a lot of people making money with our software it's a lot of good vibes in this community man we're here to offer you the most value we will be using limitless for cold outreach and then we will be using typeform the potential customer to go ahead and opt into your offer this way that you can go ahead and weed out who are potential customers you know if you send a code outreach email it's really hard to determine who's actually serious about your offer who's actually a little bit interested so this is what we're going to do we're going to use the code outreach email limitless and then we're going to go ahead create a type form landing page you're going to go ahead and collect some more information on that and then you're going to go ahead and sync that to the back end of your warm email campaign now your warm email software could be clavio active campaign there's a lot of warm email softwares out there i like the call it warm because you can't usually code email from that platform they'll ban you i told you earlier that we added chat gpt to the platform so you can actually generate keywords and do everything on our dashboard i know that sounded like a lot to unpack but trust me i'm here to offer you the most value i'm making this free video so i can go ahead and increase your business so i'm just asking for a chance for you to try it out and i promise you're going to start making sales you're going to start seeing some traction in your business so let's go ahead and get into it you want to ask yourself what are you offering? Now, we're gonna be using IG Leads for ChatGPT to generate your ideal audience. Now, this could be digital marketing, health and fitness, dog or pet owners, solar panels, e-commerce stores, local businesses. You can scrape any hashtag, or let's just say you're trying to find some real estate agents. Now, this works for any niche or business. I'm just giving you guys examples from the data we received on our software. I think this is probably our top 10 most searched keyword. So obviously it's working really well. But again, there's a lot of business businesses out there, man. There's a lot of ways to make money. Let's just say I have a plugin that I developed for WordPress or Shopify. So I'm going to be using that as an example. So I'm going to go to LinkedIn because I think LinkedIn is the one of the most popular platforms to go ahead and find your ideal audience. Hashtags is very good as well, but in my opinion, nothing beats LinkedIn. So we're going to go ahead and click on LinkedIn. Like I said, we offer a lot of platforms on my last video. You know, we didn't have this many platforms. So we're constantly adding new updates and features for you to go ahead and find your potential customer. Now, like I said earlier, we will be using chat GPT to go ahead and generate us some keywords so we can use now we integrated this on the platform so we made it a lot easier for you so I'm just gonna ask the bot to generate me some keyword that are related to Shopify owner so I went ahead and asked chat GPT to generate me keywords Shopify owners would use in their bio on LinkedIn now we're scraping LinkedIn bios they have this keyword somewhere on their page or bio Shopify partner sounds like a great target keyword to target because those people are pretty serious about their Shopify. So let's go ahead and we're just going to copy and paste that here. And I'm just going to go ahead and ask for 101 emails. Now, of course, you want to ask for more emails. This is just an example video. So you want to ask for 5,000, 2,000, 3,000 emails. And now we're going to go ahead and click search. Now we're going to go ahead and let that scrape. So I will be right back once it is done scraping. All right, guys. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the next part of our series where we're talking about a landing page. Now, remember, you're going to be cold emailing these people. You want to see who is actually serious about this product. So what you're going to do is you're going to send them to a Typeform landing page. Um, I love Typeform because you can build simple, elegant landing page. You don't need a domain name. This is something that you can do. And I'm about to go ahead and show you guys how easy and simple it is to set it up. So what you can do is go ahead and we're going to go ahead and create a Typeform. Now, I am on a free plan. I suggest getting a paid plan once you start getting responses. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click on Create Typeform. Now, once I create this Typeform, we will be using a template um, because pretty much it's already built out for you. You just got to go in and add a little bit it touches to it so after that we're going to go ahead and click on um, preview here so we're going to go ahead and use this template now once we go ahead and open this template you can name it however i recommend the first thing that the people see once they click on your link is a video you want a video in my opinion it builds more trust and it just shows you that you're legit pretty much just do a text that's fine but i recommend doing a video so what i'm gonna do right here is i'm just gonna go ahead and click on this change button right here and i'm just gonna go ahead and add a video link now once i add this video link i'm just gonna go ahead and click add 
So as you can see right here, this will be a video right when I click on a page, you can go ahead and enter a text. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it here as now. Um, this is for you to go in and change the text. So then you're going to go ahead and ask for their email address. And then after they give you your email address, you want to go ahead and ask for their name. And then you can ask as many questions as you like. I like to keep it short, simple questions. So you can just go ahead and see who qualifies. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete a lot of this stuff right here. You actually want to go ahead and ask for their number in here as well. Go over here to type and we can go ahead and ask for a phone number. So instead of, you know, whatever it was asking, we can go ahead and ask for a phone number. You pretty much go over here and change the text to however you like right here. And then top it off, the ending will be, thanks, we'll be in touch soon. So then you can go ahead and publish this. And we're gonna go ahead and connect this to our code email software soon. But just so you guys know, I recommend that you go ahead and get them on the back end of your warm email software. Now, I mentioned this earlier, warm email software is like MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, there's actually a lot of email softwares for you guys out there. So, you know, I use Active Campaign, so I can just go ahead and type in Active Campaign. And as you can see right here, I can go ahead and connect this. You're code emailing them first. You're going to see who qualifies and then they become warm leads. And those warm leads are the deals you close. Now we're going to go ahead and get into the code email part. All right, guys. So now we're about to get into the final part of this series where we go ahead and create a code email to send out. Now we are using Limitless. I'm actually pretty cool with the owner. Um, I get no affiliate sales off of this. I just want to show you everything you get inside of this platform, which you can go ahead and connect your email provider. Now, now, this is very important. You want to make sure that you do have a domain name. When you go on our dashboard, just go to courses. And once you click on courses, go over here to introduction to code emails. And we go ahead and tell you how to go ahead and create a domain email. So you want to make sure you have this set up. Um, pretty much, you don't want to send emails from johnnymoney at gmail.com. You don't want to send emails like that. You want to send emails that sounds professional. So you want to have .com, .io, at support, you know what I mean? Just business emails. No Johnny Money 23 at gmail.com. Nobody's going to take that serious. So you want to go ahead and connect your provider. It's very simple. Go on our dashboard, learn how to do that, and just go ahead and click on connect. So now you have the Gmail provider in your platform. So now we're going to go ahead. And before you do that, if you're new to this and you're new to code emails, you want to make sure that you warm up your emails before sending. We also have a tutorial on that as well. Let's go over here and click on um, Limless email warm up. But it's very simple. I'm about to go ahead and show you. It's very, very simple. Just go ahead and click on Lim Warm once you're inside the Limless dashboard. And once you open this up, as you can see, um, you can go ahead and verify your email. You can choose a plan, connect your email provider, and then you can go ahead and start warming up your email. Now, a lot of people ask me, what does warming up your email means? When you create a new domain, you have to get it warmed up. You know, just imagine you're exercising. You have to get it warmed up for it to work properly. So you have to get your email warmed up so it'll connect you to a database and it will warm up your email. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys how to go ahead and create a campaign. Now, let's go ahead and click on campaign. And now we're gonna go ahead and click on create a new campaign. Now, once we click on this, you wanna go ahead and make sure that you import the leads from igleads.io. Let's go ahead and click on download. And now all you have to do is just go ahead and import the CSV file. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it right here. And as you can see, it says 37 leads found. Let's go ahead and click continue. Now, all you need really is the name and all we need is the email. So name and email is all we need. Remember, um, we're just trying to find um, we're just trying to get some more information. Remember, we're going to get more information from Typeform. You know, this is just a cold outreach. You're going to get them to Typeform and you're going to convert them into a warm lead. So let's go ahead and click continue. So let's go ahead and click next. Let's go ahead and import those uh, 37 leads. As you can see, we got the leads here. So now we're going to go ahead and click on setting. You want to make sure that you uncheck reply by email. We want to stop it when they click on the link, not when they reply. But once they click on the link, hopefully you do convert them. That's why I said it's very important that you do have a video on here so you can try to convert them but we want to go ahead and stop these emails once they click on the link so we're going to go ahead and click on pacific links in my sync and this is where we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy and paste our landing page so we're going to go over here to the share button and now we're just going to go ahead and click on copy this link and now we're just going to go ahead and paste it right here so once they click this link the sequence will stop we can go ahead and uncheck this and we want to go ahead and track email we want to track link clicks and we want to track reply so now we're going to go ahead and click on send automatic email so we're going to go ahead and start from scratch 
So this is the best part right here. We can go ahead and use chat GPT four to go ahead and create the subject and the body paragraphs. So now I do have chat GPT four. You can use the regular chat GPT, but I tested chat GPT four. It gives you way better responses. Let's go ahead and remember we're talking to it like a human. So let's just say, remember my target audience was Shopify owners. So let's just say I have a plugin that I'm trying to sell to Shopify owners. Remember this works for any niche or business. This is just an example. So now I'm about to go to chat GPT and I'm just going to go ahead and tell it to write me a subject line so i will be right back once i do okay and as you can see it gave me multiple options to choose from now you always want to go with a subject line that doesn't sound like it was generated or it basically sounds like a bot so if this sounds like a bot to you just go ahead and talk chat gpt tell it to rewrite it you know make it sound not like a bot and remember talk to it like a human because it basically is a human the way that it can talk and respond and fix whatever you ask it to do but i really like this first one unlock your store's full potential with our must have Shopify plugin. So now we're just going to copy this and now we're just going to go ahead and go back to Limitless and we're going to go ahead and paste this. Now I'm going to tell ChatGPT to go ahead and write me a cold email. All right, so it gave me a really cool way to go ahead and just copy and paste this into Limitless. So I went ahead and edited it up a little bit. I love to go ahead and add their first name so I can go ahead and click on add custom variable and I want to go ahead and click on their first name. So we'll go ahead and enter their name right here and you can go ahead and edit this a little bit and you can go ahead and copy and paste your landing page. Remember you want to copy and paste your landing page throughout the whole um, email so we can go right here we can go ahead and copy and paste this right here so you can go ahead and do that as well go ahead and paste your type form um, landing page on Pacific text throughout the email whatever you know um, whatever is good for you and you can pretty much go ahead and add a sequence as well so we can go ahead and add a step right here and we can go ahead and send another email um, and it'll pretty much just keep following up with them until they convert or they opt out. And obviously you want to go ahead and add an unsubscribe link at the bottom of the email. So, you know, if they're not interested, they can just unsubscribe. Um, you want to go ahead and reach out to them, go ahead and add up a follow up email. So as you can see, we can go ahead and add another email. We can wait for one day and then send another email. So you can go ahead and do a seven day sequence and they will either opt in or opt out. Remember, once they click on your link, they will stop getting this sequence because we set that up over here on settings. So as you can see right here, you can go ahead and do that as well. And then we can go ahead and pretty much schedule this out based on your time zone. And then we can go to review after that. And then you can go ahead and start sending your email. I know this might have been a long video, but make sure you go to the updates tab. We got a lot of community members in here. You know, go ahead, join our community, man. We're going to help you reach out to customer support if you have any issues. Remember, I'm here to grow your business. And thank you for checking out this video.